Welcome to the video tutorial on on-demand treaty software. This video will cover treaty Ceph module, particularly using a single volume for cephalometric analysis to calculate the relative functions between points, lines, and planes in three-dimensional settings to provide more precise and accurate values. First, select the study data from DBM and load the data with 3 d f module. Perform reorientation of data using initial landmark points. Select preferred orientation method in the dialog, FH plane based method or UOP method. In this case, I will choose FH plane based method, then press OK to start. Start placing the necessary landmark points and, if necessary, reposition using the green X mark on the MPR panes for precision. Then click on the blue arrow to proceed to the next landmark point. Once it is finished, a confirmation window will pop up. Press OK to proceed auto reorientation. After orientation, click OK when prompt to continue on to tracing or simply click tracing icon to place remaining landmark. When it is finished, click Display to see the defined landmarks, lines, and planes. When initial tracing is done, you can use the tools for analysis. Over here, the chart tool displays the analysis values calculated using the landmark points. Check or uncheck analysis value to view on a 3D volume. You can also click on the export to export the analysis result as a text file or Excel spreadsheet. Click list and you can see the landmark points and their appropriate coordinates. In 3 d you can map a patient photograph to the 3D volume. Click photo and then set the ROI on the Excel image shown using the blue outline. Adjust the online to choose the region of interest. Adjust the house field unit threshold value until the area highlighted pink covers the patient's skin surface. Scroll the Excel pane to make sure all areas are covered. When it is ready, Click Generate to render a surface area model of the patient. Press OK to continue on the next stage. Press this button and load the patient's photo. Place the orange circles over the patient's pupils. And then click next to proceed. Over here, pick at least four corresponding points on the photos and the surface model. When a point is chosen on either data, the aerial is enlarged and shown at here in the image zone paint. We recommend to mark it on the edges of the eyes, the mouth, and the center of the nose for the best result.
When it is done, click Next to proceed. In this stage, you can use the Segment tool or the Remove tool to remove the unnecessary areas or any distortion. When it is finished, verify the final image and click OK to finish mapping. Now photo has been mapped to the 3D volume. If you wish to adjust the opacity level and visibility of the photo, make adjustment at here. Now you have seen how easy it is. Go ahead and start now. Thank you for watching this video.